I know I have a little bit of a mess right now, but this is the Apache. This is the Apache 4800. And it's a weatherproof protective case. Let's see if you can focus. So it's IP65 rated, watertight and dustproof, which really comes in handy here. You know, because it's always raining here where I'm at inside. So it did have pick and pull from uh, inserts. It actually does come with two of them. Uh, right now I'm only using one. The strong, secure, easy open latches, adjustable pressure relief valve to equalize pressure, pressure for easy opening. And it's actually pre-drilled for two padlocks. So this right here is the valve right here to the equalizing valve, equalizer, almost like a movie. And these are the two uh, pre-drilled uh, holes for uh, locks. Uh, again, probably never actually gonna lock this unless I'm doing something that's weird. Uh, but other than that, this thing is never really gonna be locked when it's at home. I'm mostly just gonna be using when I'm ever organizing and doing some cleaning at home or whenever I'm transporting the camera and I'm going somewhere else. Guess I keep it safe. I do have a regular camera, a transporting case, a pouch, bag, something like that. It's probably a bag and I do like it and I really do enjoy it. But again, I want a little bit more protection for my camera setup because it is actually pretty expensive uh, for what it is. So, well, my camera is pretty expensive. So let's start out with some ASMR. Yeah, oh, sound cooler. Honestly, you did think that was going to sound cooler, but again, as you guys can see, uh, the cover, the cap slash top doesn't actually open all the way, which I'm okay with. It really helps out. But the one thing that I don't like about it is that this foam is loose. So uh, probably tomorrow morning, I'm going to go pick up some 3M uh, spray, uh, uh, spray adhesive. I uh, just so I can attach that on there. Only for the top part, the bottom portion, I'm just going to keep loose uh, because, again, it's the way it goes. So, this is basically the setup that I'm running right now for blogging and some picture, photograph, photography, photography. I can't even say the damn word. But this is basically the setup that I do use. And for you guys wondering if that's not really how I store the lens, uh, I do have the cover someplace and I just need to go get it. I'm just lazy to go get it right now because I'm already recording. So, whatever. So this is the this is so this is the Canon EOS 50 Mark II. Uh, it's basically just a blogging setup. Uh, I use this in conjunction with my iPhone whenever I'm doing some weird recording, or I'm going grocery shopping, or I'm going to be doing some type of recording in a different kind of place, and I don't feel like taking the camera with me uh, because it's bulky, or it just looks weird, or it just makes me a target. Uh, I just normally just use my phone. If I use my phone and I lose that. Oh well, as I said, I'll just go put a warranty claim in or whatever. That's the way it goes. This right now is just a lens that I'm currently using. It's the stock one. It does have the back cover on it. Guess I'm cool like that. I'm not an animal. So this is Canon Zoom Lens EFM uh, 15 by 45. It is a 49 millimeter. It's pretty good for what I use it for, which is basically just vlogging and a little bit of video recording for here and there. Uh, basically just the intro for the video that I made, uh, which might be weird. Uh, right now I just have the charger in here uh, with a battery. Again, uh, in the case, I'm probably just going to end up using for the charger and the rest of the camera gear. The batteries I will be carrying separately uh, because batteries do spontaneously combust sometimes. So I'd just rather have these somewhere else and always have them next to me. So if I need to, I can ditch them without a problem. Over here, we have the small rig. Oh, yeah, so the camera, the EOS 50 Mark II, is actually in a small rig cage. Uh, so I don't keep calling it the EOS 50. I'm just going to tell you guys. Uh, I named the camera Hennessy because she's expensive. She's a troublemaker. And I wonder why. This is the E small rig uh, grip. It is some wooden uh, grip. I uh, feel like it's basically wood. Has some nice weight to it. Really feels good. I haven't used it in the cold yet, but I do. 
uh, but the other grip that they had was actually metal and if I were to use my camera in the cold and I can't really wear gloves while using it for any reason, you know, I feel that I won't get frostbite any quicker with this, any quicker than I would with a metal grip, so I do really enjoy it. I like the way it feels and it does have an Allen key on top, a hex wrench. So uh, if you ever want to change, if like say you want the uh, candle on the left, or the right side, I almost broke my lens right there. I am so pissed off. If you ever want to swap the direction or the location of the handle, uh, you just remove these two Allen bolts, this, these two bolts right here, and you can actually just swap over the location of it, which I do find extremely adjusting, really good. And because I do use it for vlogging, and I do actually have to use the monitor as such screen on the camera, uh, I actually set it up for this side. And for you guys wondering why don't I actually just use a grip on the small rig camera right here. Because uh, it feels weird and I sort of want the camera a little bit farther away from the face. So that's why I use it. Over here we have the small rig uh, tripod slash handle. I really do enjoy it. Feels nice in the hand. Feels comfortable. You can do like a ton of things with it. You can actually adjust it. Make it left, right. And over here which I really do enjoy. It's basically a quick uh, attachment point, quick disconnect, quick connect. So you just turn this handle, this knob be left to right to loosen and tighten. And all of a sudden that works on and I ever need to swap the battery or take the memory card out. I can just uh, loosen it up a little bit, move it over to the left or right, probably move it over to the left or left or right, whichever side the memory card's on or the battery. Tighten it back up, do a quick stop, whatever I need and just move it back to its position, which I like using it, which I really do enjoy. I put that back, check it out. No, I did it wrong. I really do enjoy it, I like the way it feels. Over here, again, this is a charger with battery. I will be carrying the charger in here whenever I do travel with it, but the battery still will be separate. Again, in case I ever need to ditch them for any reason, I got that right here. So this is Road Shotgun Mike. Again, I mostly use this for blogging. Again, I have the cable right here. I will uh, eventually, I think I'm gonna go find a little case for it. Clear case, something I can probably just shove in here. Or I'm gonna leave this off and I'm gonna uh, basically bolt and buck, Velcro some quick attachment points here so I can put in the cables that I do need. Again, which are gonna be two 3.5 cables. Uh, Type-C cables, stuff like that. I think that I do end up using for this. I'm probably gonna have here. Uh, probably a couple of spare USB-C cables or lightning cables, depends uh, for my phone, whatever I'm carrying. So honestly, that's probably am what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put adhesive on this. I'm just gonna add some Velcro, stuff like that to it. And I'm gonna have cables behind it. I, I like that idea better. And I feel it's gonna be, have more utility purposes for me. Again, rope microphone. Uh, again, I use this mostly for blogging and stuff like that. Audio is pretty good when I use it. I really do enjoy it. And over here, at the road, sorry, it's a little bit difficult to do things with just one hand. So these are the Rode Wireless Go uh, 2. I just have one microphone and one uh, receiver, and it also has a 3.5 cable in there. Uh, so that's what I use for uh, when I was making the Beast is Sick video and I was sort of doing that shot in the back sort of documentary style stuff like that when I was a little bit farther back and I was just sitting in front of the camera and I wanted you guys to be able to hear me clearly that's what I use when I'm shooting from a distance from the camera honestly uh, I just take the receiver uh, again I normally always leave the road microphone on there so I just uh, take the receiver uh, clip it onto this right here uh, and attach that 3.5 to the camera and that's the way I record and it makes things easier for me. I just clip uh, the, I clip the mic to my, uh, basically to my shirt collar or whatever I'm doing and that's the way I do things that way. And honestly, I love the way it's working. Uh, I just did this in about maybe half an hour, that's how long it took me to get this. Like it took me longer to go to the store and buy it than it did to set it up. And what I also like about the Apache case, uh, the 4800 that I do have right now, 
uh, and she has two pieces of pick and pull thong, which I really do enjoy. So I want to take this out. If I get more stuff and I want to have it down lower, I can totally do so. Because again, uh, the other thing that I'm probably going to be carrying is again, it's going to be probably another lens up here when I do go out and get one. Again, I need to do my research, find out what kind of lens will actually be good for what I'm using. But right now, this lens, although I do have to keep it, although it does have a little bit of zoom, I feel that it has to zoom when I'm blogging, uh, even when I have it set out as far as, as far as zoomed out as possible. I do have to stretch my arm a lot uh, to sort of get myself better in the shot. So I will uh, eventually look for another one. So I'm probably going to start doing research uh, sometime next month and I'm probably going to be a purchase for next year. But again, it does have two pieces of pick and pull foam. So if I do add a lens here and I, uh, later on I buy something else, uh, like more batteries, again, batteries are going to go somewhere else. But if I do get another charger, say I need to charge more than one battery at a time, I'm probably just going to take this off, put it all the way in the bottom. But yeah, I am going to be doing some uh, cover up slash uh, put some stickers on the case that doesn't just look like I'm carrying a gun case around. Uh, I just feel that would be weird. And I truly do enjoy it. So that is basically the blogging setup uh, for now. And I, again, I don't carry the lens like that. I do have the cover for it. I just need to go get it. It's in my room right now. And I don't feel like going over there too, because I already started recording, doing what I need to do. And that's how it's going. So again, that's the only thing I don't like about the case. I'm probably going to go get some Velcro with adhesive on it and just stick it to the back of the case. I'm not going to be using three of adhesive and tape on the back. Because again, I want to be able to pull this out and just have cables in the back that I do need, which would be two type C's. Uh, two type C's for the uh, for the Rode mics that were here. They are battery powered. They, they do have their built-in batteries. So for two type C's over here, I'm gonna have a type C and a lightning for whenever I'm recording on my phone and I do need stuff. So two type C's over here, a type C and, and a lightning for right here. And if I do ever keep any more uh, storage on me, like a little container with some uh, SD cards, uh, those are probably gonna go over here as well. Uh, again, just for ease of access and make things better for me. So that's how it's going. That's how I really enjoy it. And for like 60 bucks, probably wasn't even 60 bucks. I can't check my receipt. Uh, it was totally worth it. And I really do enjoy it. Like the way it looks. I did go with the tan color, as you guys can see, these are tan. I call it Desert Tan. Yeah, it actually doesn't have the color on it, but it did have an Apache sticker up top. Uh, that was actually just filling off already when I got it, so I didn't check. But I like that it's not, like not really branded right now, so I'm gonna go take that sticker off too. And I'm probably gonna put some stickers on it my way and just get it. Uh, made and get ready for it to be done so that's pretty much the plan i'm gonna leave this here and i'm gonna add this to probably the video I'm gonna make this a separate video uh than the one i'm working on for right now and that's basically the blogging setup uh blogging camera setup for now uh i will add more things as i go and as i go well things will get added on things might change the camera I do enjoy and it's brand new, so I'm not going to get rid of that anytime soon. The lens I do like. Uh, I will eventually upgrade lenses so I can get better shots. But other than that, I do need to find that Velcro. Other than that, everything's pretty much the way it is, the way I like it. So I'm going to go reassemble the camera real quick and go back to vlogging with this. Again, this is just basically going to be used for transportation purposes or I'm gonna put it in deep storage because I'm gonna be having guests over or something like that. And I don't want them, and I don't want this out in the open. Uh, again, I'm just gonna put it in here, uh, put it in my room or whatever I'm traveling and going around or going to go try to get some good shots up anywhere. 
again, I'm probably just gonna grab the camera, gonna keep the semi car. And I, I do have the pouch, the carrying bag for this camera itself. And it actually does fit in there pretty nicely with the uh, small rig stuff. So all with the small rig and the lens. And that makes it pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the way it works. And it, that's basically how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna go, uh, basically gonna keep lean, get stuff clean over here, just organize stuff that I need to organize. And I'll catch you guys later.